All right, so in the last video, we went through and we talked about the uh, different uh, options down here at the bottom, and I was trying to go to the user, user interface. So now I am going to go through the user interface. So what you see here is you've got your, your health bar, your mana, your stamina. You've got uh, you know different stuff here, your compass. Uh, and then you've got uh, these options. Now, well, I'm going to just show you guys real quick here. We can move your health bar wherever you want, move your map wherever you want. You can move your general chat wherever you want. You can move this option wherever you want. You can move your bars wherever you want. You can change and this little status stuff here, change those guys wherever you want. Oh, let's see, can I pull my compass? Oh yes, I can pull my compass. Look at that, it's all in the center. And my, my quest, all right. So now I'm ready to go battle with my messed up uh, stuff here. So I just wanna show you guys, you can move this stuff just as freely as you want, no matter what's going on. So, um, and, and the one thing to keep in mind, your health bar and your, and your, your uh, menu stuff here, or your mana is always gonna be the, the one on the front, uh, except for the options there when you've got that set. Now I like my options up top. I absolutely love to have this toward the bottom here. And then I'm gonna move, uh, move the chat back down to the lower left-hand side. And then one really weird thing I do is I bring this stuff over. I'm going to bring that right there. Now with this, you can actually um, show extra shortcut trays. These are the additional ones right down here. If you wanted to, to move those around or bring them around, do the little shortcut buttons right there. Um, I don't really I haven't had a point to use that yet. I've only gotten to 30, uh, 38 with my Lancer. Um, and then, of course, you can maximize your trays there. And then you can actually lock this bad boy down. So you can't even, uh, you can't even change any of these uh, settings here. You can't move those around because you've got it locked. So, all right, so now I've already went through and done my shortcut buttons there. So I've got W and Q already set up here, but I'm gonna move this down to F7 and move this down to here. Um, move that down to like F9. And I bring my mini map over to the right side. And then the compass, I kind of like keeping that up to there. And then I like having this just below there. Now, um, you know, it's a lot of this stuff, oh, let's not forget my little status updates here my status is bring that over there so you kind of see i really don't have much real estate i've got this really large health bar chat all this stuff is just really huge so let's hit our o button this is really the cool thing right here you can actually change the entire whole thing in just one swoop just like that do the 50 percent or you can make it 150 percent and then guess what i can't see nothing so um one of the things you might want to do is just maybe set that to like you know i like 80 percent. i don't like it that small I just like it kind of Kind of like that there. Now, what's really cool about this UI scaling is, is that you could go here to this drop-down box. This will allow you to individually customize your different stuff. So let's say, for instance, I want a large bar. So that way I know what my HP is. Well, I can change that with just that little setting right there. Honestly, I don't, I don't like it that big. So I'm gonna turn it to 75. Bring that guy right by his feet. And then you've got um, your compass. I actually prefer my compass, which your compass, I think, is exclusive of the UI scaling for right now. So I'll put him to like 75, you know what, 50. I don't really like the huge compass. And then you can go through here, your mini map. It's kind of separate from the UI scaling, and I like to just get that guy as short as possible, bring him to the lower right-hand side. Um, just kind of reference him every now and then. Uh, let's go to quest tracker. I'm just going to go through and just change some of these so you can kind of see kind of what's going on here. See that each of these do absolutely do change everything um, as you go through. And actually this on my screen is a little bit better at 75. Pull him up all the way there. Then we've got our shortcut tray which is this over here on the left side. Change him to 75 and then move him up just a tad. And then let's go to our menus right here. Change those to, to really small. I like that a lot better. Effects icon. That's what that is. Let me move that over. I don't care about effects icon too much. Charging gauge. Well, charging gauge is, is really more so for like berserkers and, and those that do the charge ups or archers. So uh, right now I'm Mystic. I'm level one. I don't really have much need for that. Grouping up. That's the little small stuff you'll get, which I'll show down down the road here. Crosshairs. All right, I'm going to show you guys this crosshair. I'm going to apply this. Let me hit OK. All right, your crosshairs. Uh, let's see. Which, for some reason, my crosshairs are not showing up. Oh, there it is. So you see my little crosshairs right here. That's kind of where my fireballs go, wherever they go to the crosshairs. So let's go back to this, and let's go back to our user settings and change the crosshair. So you can change the crosshair to be 50. And apply and hit OK. Uh, and you can see that it's changed the size there. So let's go back to our options. 
and I'm going to change that to probably like seven. I'll show you the larger side too, just to kind of get a feel for everything so you can kind of see how big it is. I mean, you can't really miss that at 200%, but I think it's just way too too big for, for what you're trying to do there. I like to just do 75 on that. Just again, all of these settings are customizable. This is basically your personal preference, whatever you want to do. Extra shortcuts, that's that little bar down there I was showing you. I don't really use those at this time, so I don't even touch that. Now, the UI customization, what's really cool about this thing is, is you can lock your mini map so that way it always stays there, which, and lock that bad boy. And you can change your transparency of it. You may want to probably do just a little bit. I don't know. It's so small that 100% is fine with me. Um, you can change your, your HP settings and P settings to view percentages or that. I know some people have said that they'd like to see them in both percentages and in actual health. Um, Pop-up message in the center of your screen. It's kind of like if you get a system message. Display your whisper notices. Um, display your cooldown notices. Now, I don't think that I'll be able to show you that because I don't really have any skills right now that uh, require that. I might be able to do a manual. Let me try that real quick. Okay. So drop this bad boy, and you kind of see right there. This is your uh, cooldowns right there, which I like to kind of have those those uh, close by there. So do another one, and just kind of move that. The only thing that's kind of weird about these is is that you can only see those. You can only move it whenever you see it. You can't really like click here and move it around or anything. It's it's really hard to do that. So all right, let's go back to our user settings, um, which I love to have those cooldowns. Display clock for some reason I. I never, I don't even know where this clock is. I, I hit apply and it just doesn't doesn't work. Uh, display effects icons. This is your uh, stuff up here. You could just do apply left, which you kind of see if you look up here. I'll bring this over here so you can kind of see the line right, the line left, the line bottom. I like the line bottom because I, I make it go from a top to bottom side there. Uh, display the F key guide messages. Uh, I don't really like that because I changed those up. Uh, display zone messages, achievement messages, looting, van argument, leave those on there. Those are good. Just apply those and hit OK. So that's pretty much uh, going through the entire interface. Um, and then one last thing, uh, the tabs, like your, uh, like your, uh, I guess, your chat windows here, it automatically does general party, combat, bargain, and whispers. Um, one of the things, I don't really mess too much with the general tab. I mostly stay on this one. But what's really neat is you can go through and, and change, you know, lock the window, uh, current tab options. Um, but you can actually click here as well and uh, tab options right there and then you've got all these different cool tab options right there um, so like in my party stuff I do guild whispers notices team alerts and then uh, I go through here and just put notices on the system just kind of get the basic information um, and you can actually change your font size I keep mine at 85 it makes it a little bit easier to read 45 is your transparency or your opacity on the back side there um, and then of course you could do like a during combat thing as well so and then, of course, like this tab option here in my combat. It's got just nothing but combat stuff in there. Sometimes one of the cool things you can do is, uh, let me go ahead and just confirm this, is you can actually, let's move this down just a tad here. And then you can actually, like, take this tab, take this actual combat chat out. Um, one of the things that I've, I've liked is I can just put this up here, and then there's a little arrow right here, and you can squeeze that in, and then just kind of put that guy up just a little bit. Uh, come, on, come on, there we go. Sometimes I like to see some of the combat stuff, but it's, it's pretty transparent. It doesn't really affect me too much. So, um, okay, well, that's pretty much it. I, I hope that really answers some questions for you guys. Oh, let's not forget you can hide your compass right here, too, and then quest to hide or show. Um, so hopefully that answers some questions for some guys coming on, just kind of trying to get a feel for the game, uh, look at the interface. Uh, if you have any comments, concerns, questions, you know, go ahead and, and leave me a note on the YouTube channel. Um, I think what I'm going to do in the next uh, next video is kind of go through some more of the different options there. Just want to kind of make just a, a really, uh, you know, low-level um, guide on how to make how to set things up, introduction to Terra as you come in here. So uh, until uh, the next video here in about two seconds, I will talk to you guys then. All right, you guys take care.